I'm heading to one of the most popular chain supermarket called Life. Today, I'm planning to cook new Japanese style dumpling. Recently, it is really popular in Japan, and many people told me that it's really good. But I haven't tried one yet, so I will make one. Hope I can make good one, and I can share the recipes through this video with you. By the way, it's Golden Week, which is one of the biggest hoja in Japan. Due to the state of emergency, not so many people are out compared to the regular season, but still, there are many people in the town. Hope the supermarket is not crowded. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senoka. So, this is the live supermarket, which is one of the most popular supermarkets in Japan. Let's go to get the ingredients. Let's go! I need to buy several ingredients here, and also I want to buy a dessert too. So, let's go shopping. First, I need to find shiso leaves. Let's find shiso leaves. Here we go. I think this one is enough, so let's get this. Price is 158 Japanese yen. Next, let's find a dumpling wrapper. If you can't find a dumpling wrapper at the supermarket, you can make it by flour. Oh, this one looks good. Let's get this. Oh, by the way, this asparagus bacon looks good. It must be really good with beer, but today we don't need it, so next time. So the next pork belly. It doesn't have to be a belly. By the way, this one is American pork. Compared to Japanese pork, usually it's cheaper in Japan. And from here, let's get something extra. The first one is kimchi. Pork belly, always good with kimchi. So it should be good. Let's get this. And next, let's play seafood too. Oh, this shrimp is 30% off. But hold on, next to this shrimp, this one is also 30% off. And this one seems bigger shrimp, so let's get this one too. And also, let me play scallop. I love scallop. I'm not sure if it's good with it or not, but let's try that. Okay, I think it's enough. For the last, let's get dessert. So this is dessert section. There are so many kinds of desserts. Oh, this matcha Mont Blanc looks good. What else we have? Let me see. Oh, look at this. It's interesting. Maru de melon na parfait. It's parfait, but tastes exactly like a melon. I've never tried this, so let me try that. And I totally forgot something really important. Can you guys take a guess? Yes. It's beer! Today, let me get ebisu. Long can. Okay, now it's ready. Let's cash out. There is a line in front of the cashier, but it's not bad. Recently, most of the chain supermarket, I can pay by the Apple Watch. It's really useful. Today, I brought my Echo back. I got this echo bag for free when I visit a space event in Ginza, Tokyo. It's really useful. Still, bringing echo bag is not my habit yet, so many times I forget to bring it, but I always think I should for the environment. Plastic bag was free in Japan, however now they charge money. It's a really small fee, so I don't really care the money charge. But many people start considering to use echo bag including me, so I think it was a really good change. Alright, now everything is ready, so let's go home. The exit is this way. Oh, look at that bento box section. It's really tempting. But we have food, so let's go home. All right, it's ready, so let's start cooking. Basically, this cooking is really simple. It is as simple as making onigiri rice bowl. First, prepare the gyoza wrapper. 
If you can't find gyoza wrapper at the supermarket, you can make your own gyoza wrapper by flour. This is the gyoza wrapper we use today. It looks small, but it's the regular size. This is shiso leaves. By the way, if you can't find the shiso leaves, you can use cheese instead. I heard it's pretty good too. Speaking of the shiso leaves, technically you don't have to wash it, but I usually wash. Again, it is really simple. You just need to place the shiso leaves and also pork belly on top of it. That's it. After wrap it, it becomes like this. It looks like a gyoza, but more like burrito. Speaking of the difference between Chinese dumpling and the Japanese dumpling, in Japan, fried dumpling is more popular, but in China, steamed dumpling is more popular. Also, we usually eat dumpling with white rice in Japan, but usually Chinese don't eat dumpling with white rice. When I first time heard Chinese don't eat dumpling with white rice, I was surprised. But after I tried steamed dumpling, I understood the reason why. It was more like bread, so bread eating with white rice, not really a good combination. Basically, Japanese treat fried dumpling is like fried chicken, so that's the reason why we like to eat it with white rice. <laughs> this one is bigger. Lucky one. I think regular one, four is enough. Next, let's try the kimchi one. It's kimchi, really strong smell, but I like the taste. Kimchi one is also place the shiso leaves and the pork belly and the kimchi. <laughs> Seems like I placed too much. I can't wrap it by one gyoza wrapper, so let me use another one. Oh my goodness, this one looks like a burrito. By the way, I love burrito. It's not really popular in Japan, so kind of hard to find a good one in Osaka. But still, there are many burrito stores in Tokyo though. This time, let me place just a little bit. Here we go. This time, much better. Next, let me use the shrimp. Yes, this shrimp, a little bit bigger than the cheaper one. This one also plays the shiso leaves, pork belly, and also shrimp. Here we go. Oh my goodness, shrimp one looks good too. And let me use the scallop too. <laughs> well, definitely cannot close. So this scallop one, because I can't close it, so it became a burrito style. <laughs> it's gyoza though. So from here, basically I'm doing the same thing. Actually, I'm talking something, but it is not important, so please just ignore. ta It's done. It's really simple, right? And from here, we just need to cook it, so let's cook. To be honest, I spent too much money on this, but if you don't get the seafood, it's much cheaper. So let's eat. Alright, let's start cooking it. Plate is on. Just I need to place the oil here. And let's place the food. Ta-da! It looks pretty good. All right, let's place it. 
Yeah, placing it by hands is easier. Okay. <laughs> this is shrimp one. Looks pretty good. Oh, my <laughs> shrimp! The kimchi one? I love pork variant kimchi, so this one must be good. Okay, so let me place it here. And that's it. <laughs> it is really simple, right? Do I need to place the water? Because usually when we cook dumpling, we place the water. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me place it. Here we go. <laughs> yes, it does sound like a dumpling cooking, right? <laughs> Hope I'm doing right. Just go wash the plate. So let me check it. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> My goodness, it smells pretty good. Let me flip it. Oh. Look, this one looks like a gyoza dumpling. <laughs> well, this is like a huge dumpling. I'm not sure if Mike Chen watched this, what he would say. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is how it looks like, the Japan new style dumpling. It does look good, right? And it smells good too. I need to cook more, so let's close it. <laughs> Ta-da! Today's beer! Emisu! <laughs> well, actually, I have received the beer, 24 cans, but it's already gone. Yes, I love beer. <laughs> if you want to send the beer, you can send it to me from my Amazon wish list. So let's make kanpai! Oh, hold on, wait. It sounds like it's ready. Let me open it. Three, two, one, boom. Oh. Three, two, one, boom. Oh. Wow. Oh, wait. Is it burned? Nope, hope not. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It does look like dumpling. Oh, this one looks pretty good. So speaking of this dumpling, what is special of this is that we use the ponzu sauce, which is the youth citrus flavor sauce. Usually when you eat dumpling, you use the soy sauce, right? But this time, we use ponzu sauce. All right, so it's ready. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Wait, beforehand, let's kanpai. Do you guys have your drink? So, kanpai. Psycho. <laughs> Loving it. So let me start with regular one. So this is the one with pork and the shiso leaves. Seems like it's already cooked. So let me eat it. Itadakimasu. Flavor of shiso leaves, it perfectly matches with ponzu sauce. And then the dumpling skin. It's really crispy, loving it. So how about this kimchi one? So this one is shiso leaves pork berry with kimchi. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh, well, it is hot, but it's really good. Let me give you guys some Japanese lesson. Uh, I'm not really good at eating the hot stuff. We call that nekojita. Nekojita meaning cat 
tang. Well, I don't know why it's called a cat tang, but if you are not really good at eating the hot food, you are nekojita cat tang. I don't know why people call that, but we call that cat tang. Nekojita. Ah, loving it. So I guess this is the shrimp with pork berry with shiso leaves. It looks pretty good. Wow. Saigo. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's perfect with beer. No wonder it is really popular in Japan. This one is a scallop pork berry with shiso leaves. Let's eat. Ah, oh my goodness, I love this. Ah, well, it was pretty good, but we still have dessert. So let me clean this up. <laughs> yes, it's clean now. <laughs> Unfortunately, no magic here. Anyway, let's eat. So this one called Maru de Melon na Parfait. It's the parfait, but exactly tastes like a melon. Is it really tastes like a melon? Let me try that. Itadakimasu. Oh, naruhodo. It tastes like a melon. So on top of it, there is a melon. Oh. One more time. There is a melon jelly, whipped cream, and a melon pudding. Yeah, it exactly tastes like a melon, but cheaper than melon. So if you like melon, maybe this is an option. And what is this? Seems like it's a melon seed. Mmm. I'm not sure what it is. It tastes like a peanut. Interesting. Hmm. Well, it's pretty good, mm. but I think one time is enough though. Sorry, my GoPro has a heating problem because I think I continuously shooting for a long time, so I changed it to the, my main cam. So speaking of the situation in Japan, there are third state of emergency for several prefectures such as Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. However, there is a golden week, which is really big holiday in Japan. So I saw the news that even in a state of emergency, people are going out. So it was really nice decision for me to make the house barbecue. Well, technically it was not the barbecue, it was a dumpling party. Well, technically, it was only myself, so not really a party. Anyway, it was really simple and uh, you can place it whatever you like, so hope you can try that too. Alright, so hope you enjoy my cooking video. Oh, by the way, I'm a travel photographer. If you want to see more about Japan, please check my Instagram account too. And speaking of my channel, there are over 300 videos about Japanese food and the travel. So if you are thinking of traveling to Japan or if you like Japan, Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video and a surprise live stream. Alright, so see you in the next video. Arigatou! Bye bye! Whew. Well, to be honest, I haven't shoot the cooking video for kind of long time, so I was kind of nervous to make the cooking video. Hopefully, you like this cooking video and you can try this recipe. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I am really happy. So see you in the next video. Arigato! Bye bye! Say no.